Today, I'm giving the Polish Extra Klasse a 1.8 billion pound TV deal. Every season, each of its 18 teams receives 100 million pounds in a TV deal to broadcast their games around the world. Then I'm gonna simulate into the future to find out if any team can win a Champions League. I actually simulated 200 years in the future, so stick around to see how different the world of football looks in the year 2222. At the start of the game, the Polish top flight sits at 31st in competition reputation rankings in Europe. But 25 years in the future, it's risen up to 7th. And with it comes 5 European places. What we'll do as well is we'll keep an eye on the prize money and see how that increases over the 200 years. Lech Poznan dominated the 2020s before Rakow came through in the 2030s, but the 2040s, it's gone back to Lech Poznan. I should also say I'm not Polish and I can't speak Polish, so I do apologise for inevitably butchering a lot of these team names. There are definitely some good players joining the Polish top flight. However, the best player is actually Polish himself and has played for a whole host of different Polish clubs. We can see their current ability out of 200 and it does show that some of the best players in the world are playing in Poland on some really big wages. I mean, this guy, who looks pretty bang average, is on £240,000 a week. There's also been some early success in Europe. In the Conference League, Legia Warsaw lifted the trophy in 2024-25, before another team that I cannot quite pronounce won it in 2033. Jagielonia? Jagielonia. Jagielonia. I'm not going to be able to get it right, but uh, Bastoni is the manager, if you're interested. <laughs> what, a, what an interesting career path. But right now, that's where the winning stops in Europe. So let's jump forward another 50 years to season 75 to see if things have changed then. Things are getting serious, though, as the Polish Extra Klasse is up to fourth in competition reputation rankings, ahead of both the Bundesliga and Ligue 1. Now, Lecce continue to dominate things into the 2050s. And the 2060s was a little bit different with a few different teams winning it. But from the 70s onwards, there is some complete domination. Miet went on to win 17 titles in a row. So if they've not won the Champions League, I don't know who has. We have some of the best players in the world currently playing in Poland with some great current abilities. But also some of the richest as well, with £350,000 being paid out to Pascal Laporte, who looks pretty decent. I love that he plays right wing, but also left wing back. And a bit of sense back as well. There are a bunch of winners of the Conference League from Poland. Just looking through the last few years, you can see how many different teams are winning it. The Europa League is a little trickier to win, but there are some Polish teams getting titles, with Lecce winning two in three years, the team I can't pronounce winning it in 2028-23, and Lecce Poznan getting their hands on it in 2074. As for the Champions League though, we've not got a winner, but Mietz have come runners up twice in 2086 and 2087, but since then, their star has fallen and they're no longer the top team in Poland or Europe. They are currently a top flight team, but they only got promoted for the first time in 2018. Okay, another 50 years in the future to season 125, where Poland's top flight has dropped to fifth. However, it has been bouncing between 6th and 3rd for quite some time. Since the fall of Mietz, it's Lecce that have been dominating Polish football, winning almost every single title in the last 50 years. Their reputation is currently 10,000 out of 10,000, and they've got £769 million in the bank account. I mean, someone's doing pretty well for themselves right now. Given that they are so rich, the prize money in the league must be absolutely eye-watering. Back in Season 25, we saw it was just over two million pounds well it's now just under four million pounds it's, it's barely moved in a hundred years which is a little surprising actually but by this stage most clubs have moved into new stadiums and this is what they currently play in Lecce in a hundred thousand seater stadium Rakow have got 75,000 seats Mietz have got 72,000 Brookbet have got 71 and a half thousand Lecce have got 69,000 nice and for the most part they're all named after club legends they're we just haven't been able to investigate the stories of in this video. The Manu Park for Lecce is named after a former manager who, spoiler alert, won them the Champions League in 21-15. And with the quality of players they've got at their disposal right now, I expect Lecce to still be winning Champions Leagues. I don't think we can spend too much time looking at the Conference League or the Europa League, but as you can see, there are different winners from Poland all up and down the Conference League right now. And if we move up into the Europa League, you can also see there's a bunch of Polish teams winning it. Oh my word, Lecce 
were insane. Just after we skipped forward last time out, they won five Champions Leagues in a decade. A sixth in 21-15, and they also lost two finals in that time as well. But you'll also notice that GKS also won a Champions League and were runners-up as well, so that's two different winners from Poland. It was then almost 20 years until another Polish team got to the final of the Champions League, but it was once again Lecce winning it in 21-32, before Lecce Poznan won it in 38, Lecce again in 40, GKS won it in 41, and Rakow won it in 43. The most important part is, in that period of time, there was a 100% win ratio for Polish clubs when they got to the Champions League final. So let's now jump 75 years in the future, and I am buzzing to see how many Polish clubs have won Champions Leagues by 200 years in the future. It took me 30 hours to simulate 200 years, so if you appreciate the effort that goes into making these videos, drop a like on the video and subscribe if you're new around here. Although the league is still only fourth in competition reputation rankings, the league table looks like this. It's being dominated by a team that I cannot pronounce, and I'm sure many Polish people watching this video can tell us in the comment section if this table is whack or not. I wish I knew more about Polish football, I think I need to study it a little bit more after this video. The Champions League though is not looking as good for Polish clubs as it once was. Now Rakow recently won one in 22-15, but it's currently being dominated by the Madrid clubs. Big up to Slovakian side Dunstrada for winning their first Champions League recently as well. Slavia Prague have gone on to win four of them, and even Fenerbahce have gone on to win four. But we're interested obviously in the Polish clubs, and Rakow have gone on to win three, as they are currently the most dominant team in Poland. Lecce though have won 15 across their lifetime, which makes them the most successful club in Poland as well as winning 13 Club World Championships. I quite like looking through the Club World Championship because it's dominated by European teams apart from in 2189 where Beijing came out of nowhere to win it. I realise there's also two GKS teams and I can't pronounce the second part of their team names but this team have won one of them and the other GKS have won one as well. Which means that in 200 years Polish clubs have won 20 Champions Leagues. It's a 10%, which is not that bad. Also, I have no idea how they do it in every single video without fail, but HJK have won their Champions League, as is customary in all of these videos. I'm also really interested in international football. Given that we're pumping so much money into Poland, they should be able to produce some wonder kids to go on to win the European Championships and the World Cup. And they've done the European Championships six times, which is not a bad record at all, coming runners-up a bunch of times too. As for the World Cup, well, they've won it once in 2202, beating England in the final. And they've also come runners-up a further two times, as well as third place a bunch of times. But I mean, other than Poland and China winning it in 2194 and Algeria winning it in 2106, if we scroll down a little bit as well, there's no one out of the ordinary winning it. It's been a very boring World Cup for international football. Where are Andorra winning the World Cup? That's what I want to see. Although I did do a video about that on the channel not that long ago. So that's on the screen for you to watch right now.